Hey guys, I'm coming to you with yet another quarterly proclamation of like, I've got to get my stuff together, man. Like, I know I've been messing up these last few months, but I swear I'm back on track. Today is day one, starting today, starting today though, it's all going to be different. Except this time, it's actually going to be different, okay? You guys, I am doing a keto reset. And to me, that means nothing more than like, pretending as if I'm starting over. Like when I first started keto, I was 232.5 pounds. At my smallest that I've ever been, I was like around 155 pounds. After that low weight, I lost my mind and shot right back up. <laughs> I mean, gaining a ton of weight, but I recommitted myself in August 2019. I explored fasting in October 19, and by November, I had gotten down to the lowest weight that I had been all of 2019, which I don't even remember because it was so long ago, 178.1. At that point, that was the lowest that I had been. That's a gain of 20 pounds for my lowest weight, but it was still the lowest that I've been in 2019. Well, the holidays came around. A lot of stuff's been happening in 2020. I went on a trip to Paris. I got married, like basically all these things to take my focus off of losing weight and getting healthy. And I stepped on the scale on April the 1st, and I'm not even April fooling y'all right now, and it was 190.7. That is a gain of 12.6 pounds. It's basically just holiday weight that I haven't lost, vacation weight, honeymoon weight, like all these things that I just used as a reason to go off the rails. But don't get it twisted. I had a great time. Those were once in a lifetime things, minus the holidays. But my vacation to Paris and my getting married was a once in a lifetime thing. So like, yeah, cake's gonna be involved. Baguettes are gonna be involved, you know what I'm saying? But like, no more, okay? We're all stuck at home. We're all in quarantine. And for me, home is my happy place, okay? Home is like, I was literally about to say home is where I live. <laughs> But I mean like home is where I get the majority of my stuff done. So starting today, I'm recommitting to making my journey about weight loss. You can eat keto to maintain your weight and you can eat keto to lose weight. So I'm still in this part. I'm not at the maintenance part yet. Like I still need to lose a fair amount of weight. If we're honest, I'm gonna lose 30 pounds. I wanna be back to the 150s. So this is me committing to you guys that starting today, starting this month, I'm going to be posting monthly weigh-in videos and body pics. Ooh, and these are like revealing body pics. You see I got my robe on right now. That's cause like I ain't got on nothing but a sports bra and some underwears under this. You know what I'm saying? But like I've got to put it out there. I've got to see it with my own eyes so that I can see where I want to go. Also, in addition to weighing myself, I'm gonna be taking measurements and sharing those with you guys as well. Every time I say that I don't lose weight, someone always posts, well, have you been measuring yourself? You checking inches? Yes, girl, I'm checking the inches. They're not going anywhere because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. But that all changes today. So monthly, I'm gonna be sharing my weight. I'm gonna be sharing my measurements. And then I have one of those fancy scales that like tells you your body fat and your water comp and all that stuff. But I'm gonna be posting these every month just so we can stay in tune together. You can see if I'm winning or if I'm losing. And if I try to make some excuses about it, like there's just no excuses guys. But in order to make any real change, the first step is being honest with yourself. And I'm being honest with myself. I haven't been doing the best I can. And that's what I deserve. I deserve the best version of myself. So that's what I'm committed to giving me. And that's what I'm committed to giving you. Okay, so I'm about to post all these body shots that I'm really scared to show you and then I'm gonna post my complete weight and stats at the very end, and we'll just keep looking at those from month to month. Ah! I encourage you, if you've been turning a blind eye to the scale or a blind eye to the mirror, cause you know you ain't where you're supposed to be, take a good look, take a long, hard look, and be honest with yourself, and be honest with what you've been doing to reach your goals and what you haven't been doing, okay? 2020 is the year we reach our goals, okay? The world is crazy right now. We can't control a lot of stuff that's happening, but what we can control is what we choose to eat and how we choose to move, okay? Like, I'm so glad to be back mentally and physically. You'll see a lot more videos coming from me, but this one was important because I feel like I've been hiding from myself and I've been hiding from you guys, at least in terms of my weight. You know, I post my what I eat Wednesdays. You know what I'm eating. You know what my lifestyle is like. Y'all don't know what I look like and the time has come. So I'll see you next month. Roll the stats.